wineries, breweries, events, and more. It's time for your weekend update. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty. Claire, how's it going? Hi, it is going great. I am loving this fall weather that we're having, this beautiful sunshine. It's a little bit warm, still chilly. The leaves are falling. (sighs) I love it. It's beautiful. (laughs) And this weekend is going to be perfect fall weather, sunny, clear, in the mid 60s, low mid 60s. So a little bit chilly, but not too chilly. Not going to keep you from going out and doing the fun things that are to be done this weekend. So what have we got going on at our wineries and breweries? Yes, I am so excited. We have Triassic Vineyards. They are open on Fridays from noon to six. And on Saturday, they have Walt and Pam playing at 2.30. And Claudia's Catering will be there on Saturday. On Sunday, Jarrett Miner will be playing at 2.30. Over at Dorner Family Vineyards, they have a veteran special happening all throughout the weekend, and that's 20% off all wine and beer purchases for anyone in active military or um, is a veteran. (laughs) Very cool. Yes. So we're excited about that. We hope everybody can go out to Dorner and celebrate and enjoy On Saturday, they have Tom Holden playing from 1 to 5. And on Sunday, Carrie Park will be there from 1 to 5. And then they will be uh, serving up chili, cornbread, and salad, and that charcuterie all throughout the weekend. Tehachapi Winery will have charcuterie available as well. And on Saturday, they'll have Blonde Mustard playing, and Cub and Gut Pizza will be there. And they will have a very special Veterans Day vendor event. So a lot of really great local places that will be there offering specials and all kinds of interesting things. So head on out there on Saturday as well and see what you can find. On Sunday, Dave Schultz will be playing at Tatchby Winery starting at 2 p.m. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has La Revancha coming back on Saturday, playing from 2 to 5. I I am a huge fan of La Revancha. Leo puts this amazing spin on a lot of classical, fun rock and roll, but he plays with like the Spanish guitar, and it's, it's so wonderful to listen to. And his own spin on things is just very, very special. And so I I enjoy whenever he comes up. And then on Sunday, uh, a local favorite, Jim Sinney, is playing from 2 to 5. This weekend, Tatch Rewind and Cattle Company has their charcuterie, tri-tip sandwiches, but also that delicious clam chowder in a sourdough bread bowl or chili in a sourdough bread bowl. They also have Frito boats loaded with all the things and a loaded baked potato. Yeah, that is all the perfect fall foods to be enjoying this weekend. (laughs) Yes, they've got it nailed down with the menu. (laughs) Uh, Stray Leaves Tasting Room right down here in downtown Tehachapi has a paint night happening on Friday with All That's Painted. That starts at 545 and you can grab your tickets by calling 714-785-8870. Very cool. And like we were talking about last week, this is where you come in and you you do your own painting, right? Yes. Perfect. So still, if you're looking for (laughs) some decor for your house, make it yourself. (laughs) Yes, exactly. If you've gone into some of the shops around here and you're not feeling the decor, this might be the ticket. Perfect. (laughs) Yes. Heading over to our breweries. Old West Brewing is open on Friday, and they have their open mic night with Thorne Ashton starting at 6.30, and Cub and Gut Pizza will be there at 5.30. On Saturday, karaoke is happening at 5.30 with DJ Tom, and Cub and Gut Pizza will be back. And for their winter hours, Old West Brewing will be closed on Sundays. West Lane Brewing has their Thursday night music bingo They've been doing this a couple times this last, like the last few weeks, and it's becoming very, very popular. There are prizes involved, Ooh. and a lot of people who really know their music, they're getting excited. And so, okay. yeah. Okay, so, so it's like, you hear a song, you know it, you, what do you, is that how it works? I think so. I mean, I, I, I kind of watched it the other day. I had to run in really quick, and then I ran out. And I have to stay and see exactly how it works, because I think you get a card. Okay. And when you hear the music, 
you have to figure it like, oh yes, it's this song. Mm-hmm. I have it on my card. Uh, and and then see, you I kind see. of fill that out. And it could be a digital card and it could be a, a real life card as well. Okay. So fun. Yeah. So those music buffs out there, they need to go get some prizes. Yes. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Be proud of that music knowledge that you have in your mind. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Lupita's Hot Tamales will be there Thursday evening. Friday, Poke Express will be there. Saturday, there will be an alternative music night, and Jamel's Good Food Gang will be there as well. Over at Local Craft Beer on Thursday, they have their open mic night with Poppy's Pastrami this week. Another wonderful fall dish <laughs> to enjoy, hot pastrami sandwich. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then Friday through Sunday, Lupita's Hot Tamales will be there. And we know every Wednesday, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night is there, and always, always fun. Just seeing what you know in the depths of your mind (laughs) that can win you a prize. (laughs) Yeah, you never know that those fun facts can really come in handy. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So those are our vineyards and our breweries this weekend. Lots of fun stuff to look forward to. Lovely. Claire, tell me a bit about Discovered Hatchby. And I hear you guys have something in the works for the holiday season. (gasps) Yes. Thank you. So Discovered Hatchby, we run signature wine tours every single weekend and we also run beer tours and if you have a group of eight we can do a custom tour so we can mix and match and do whatever you'd like we had a really really fun tour this last weekend where we had a whole group of people that wanted to go to Pulford's apple tree orchard for their wine tastings fun and so yeah and so my husband called up john Pulford and and said hey i've got this group they're really interested and Oh my gosh, John went above and beyond. Like they got to see how the apples are sorted and cleaned and they got to be part of the process and they went through the whole the whole process of getting these apples off the trees and into bags. And they bought so many apples and they were so <laughs> excited. So I want to send a little thank you out there to to John Pulford for making that a really really special experience and that was something really cool for us too. So if you have ideas, dreams out there, we can help make it happen. And I'm really excited about an upcoming event that we have. And I just nailed down some of the details last night, so I'm very excited. But our Christmas light tour that we started last year is coming back on December 15th. And it'll be from 6 to 9 p.m. We want to kind of get it going after the sun's gone down so we can really enjoy those holiday lights. It will be at the American Legion Post 221 this year on F Street. And that really makes sure that we're going to be inside in a nice large building where everyone has a chance to mingle and play games and drink hot chocolate. And there will be crafts and coloring and um, all kinds of fun stuff. They might even put a Christmas movie on or some fun Christmas music. And so it'll be a really great space to wait for those buses to come around. And then you hop on a bus and we'll take you around to all of the beautiful houses that are completely decorated. And then you can just enjoy that with your friends and family, not worry about driving. Don't worry about, you know, having to deal with traffic or parked cars in a weird place or any of that. You can just sit and enjoy and have a nice moment with your family. (laughs) Very cool. That's I mean, the holiday season is it's upon us now. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I've, here it is. <laughs> here it is. So start thinking about Christmas. I mean, we still got to get through Thanksgiving, but yes, it's. I, I I know some people are already fully in Christmas mode, but <laughs> <laughs> before then, what else have we got going on this weekend? Yes, I know this weekend is just phenomenal. So um, starting tomorrow night, Friday, we have a Red Friday event at the VFW. Red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. And so over at the VFW, located at 221 West Tatsby Boulevard, starting at 4 p.m., they are going to have vendors of different kinds. They're going to have a lot of swag available. At 5 p.m., they're going to start an opening ceremony thanking all of their local veterans. And then at 515, they're going to have a cornhole tournament starting. Oh, fun. this is serious. (laughs) So I I was sitting in on a a meeting yesterday for the veterans ceremony and all the, the shenanigans happening, which is so exciting. And... There were some serious cornhole (laughs) enthusiasts in that room, and they are so excited. So if you enjoy cornhole just as much and it just puts a smile on your face, you can register to be part of a team and have some fun with that. 
All you have to do is head over to their Facebook page, to Hatchapi Mountain VFW Post 5948. And all the proceeds that happen, that come through that evening, will be for Reads Across America, hosted by 5150 Diesels. So it's a wonderful event. We're thanking our wonderful veterans, and we're also raising some money for a really good cause. Yeah, and we've got a lot going on for Veterans Day this weekend, right? Yes, we do. I'm so excited. Um, So the first thing on Saturday morning, there will be a free breakfast for veterans at Red House Barbecue. So head on over there and get that yummy free hot breakfast. And then head on over to the Philip Marks Central Park for the Veterans Day celebration. So that's going to start at 11 um, we, I, and there was going to be a parade. We were very hopeful, but there was very little participation. And so I just learned that there will not be a parade, unfortunately. So, um, bring all of those, um, folding chairs and whatnot <laughs> over to Philip Marks and enjoy the day over there. There's going to be a wonderful, wonderful ceremony at 11. And there will also be a veterans resource fair sponsored by BHE Renewables. And the chamber has really helped put this to get together as well. They went down to Bakersfield and they got all kinds of information, pamphlets, brochures, stuff for our veterans to see like what resources are available to them, what benefits there are. And then there's going to be several booths. We have um, Joyful Life Hypnotherapy, Be Good to Yourself, BHE Renewables will be there. Um, We have Kern County Health that will be out there. And um, several others that just that just signed up. And so that, that's going to be wonderful. And please come out with your families. There's going to be um, kids crafts and hot dogs and just a wonderful ceremony. And then I know at 2 p.m., something very exciting is happening. Yes. So over at American Legion Post 221, so right behind City Hall, on it's on F Street, um, there will be a bench dedication ceremony. So it'll be a really wonderful ceremony honoring Tehachapi's only MIA. So Gilbert Lewis Mitchell, he fought in the Vietnam War. He was a naval flight officer. And with the help of Lynn Eckert over at the American Legion, uh, we are getting the chance to recognize them. So the city donated a bench and uh, we're really excited to honor this veteran on Veterans Day. And um, it'll be a really great ceremony. So we hope to see everyone there. 2 (laughs) p.m. Yay. Uh, So special. I love it. And then um, kind of. Moving into some of the other wonderful things happening in this community, I know we're wrapping up that celebration around 2 2 p.m. to come over here and do that bench dedication. And then you can head over to the Hitching Post Theater, where the Semarenko team is treating all of our active military and veterans to a free movie with their plus one, and you also will get a free large popcorn and a drink. Very cool. Yeah, right? Do we know what movie? Uh, I'm not sure. There's several movies playing over there. So I think you can choose a movie and and just enjoy the afternoon with your loved one. So what a a great thing the San Marenco team is donating to the community. So thank you. (laughs) And then we have lots of things kind of happening throughout our weekend. At the library, we have a volunteer orientation happening on Saturday at noon. We have Baby Bounce happening on Tuesday at 11.30. ASL Club is meeting at 4 p.m. on Tuesday. Barks and Books meets at 4 p.m. with all those well-adjusted pups who love (laughs) sitting with kiddos and reading with them. That'll be on Wednesday at 4 p.m. And then Thursday next week, we have Preschool Story Time at 11.30 where they're going to start getting into Thanksgiving and Lego Club happens at 4 p.m. And they're they're kind of building their houses, so they're going to focus on the living room oh, section. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So th- that's an ongoing project for them? Yes, yeah. Nice. So they're, yeah, I think they, like, they started with some of the exterior parts of the building, and, like, they worked on a bathroom and a kitchen, and now they're working on the living room. So how it's fun. kind of fun. When you go to the library, you go downstairs, and you kind of see how these little houses are coming together. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So that's exciting. And on Friday night, there is a sushi making class hosted by Poke Express at the Stallion Springs Community Service District. 
Oh, hey. Yeah. So that's really exciting. I love how we're seeing these sushi making classes <laughs> popping up all over. So pretty soon we're all going to know how to make delicious sushi. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but we're still going to go to Poke Express because they really know how to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you'll want to head over to 27800 Stallion Springs Drive. It's only $63 a person, and that includes a glass of wine, two sushi rolls, an appetizer, and a kit you can take home so you can keep making this delicious sushi all throughout your life. How awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the, the gift that keeps giving. Right? Sushi. <laughs> Love it. Sushi. Yes. <laughs> but sushi Thanksgiving this year. Oh, hey. Fun idea. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, the, you can get your tickets on Eventbrite, or you can call 661 368 Four six zero zero to get those tickets, and then starting next week we have a turkey trot. <laughs> it's time. It already. is time. It's time for the turkey trot. That's November eighteenth, and it's thirty five dollars a person. You're going to head over to Bright Lake, and that starts at nine a.m. and you will go to tvrpd.org to register. This is something fun for the entire family to do. You don't have to run if you don't want to. It's just something to get out in our beautiful community and our nature and walk, <laughs> run, jog, um, crawl, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you'd like to do. The winners will get a turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh, great. And uh, that, that event is sponsored by Alta One. Great. Awesome. <clears throat> so you are, uh, you're working up your Thanksgiving appetite days or I guess even a week or two in yeah, advance. Yeah, like a week in, in advance. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense because I think you eat enough on Thanksgiving to last you like another two weeks. Oh, so. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then on November 18th as well, Space Flow Yoga is turning three years old. Yay. And yes, it's our, our one and only yoga studio here in town. And they have a really, really fun day planned. So starting at 930, they're going to have various demonstrations, little 30 minute demonstrations where you can pop in and try something and learn and, and think, oh, I can do this. This is awesome. And it feels so good. So they're going to go over power flow yoga, Zumba, yoga hit, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> There's a slow flow yoga um, and then a bio danza, a yin and a couple others that sounded very interesting nice i think the slow f flow is about my <laughs> speed <laughs> but yoga is great everybody should give it a try <laughs> yes and i feel like there's something there for everybody yes so i'm i'm excited i hope everyone is able to go out to space flow yoga out on south street in old town and uh there'll also be tacos there'll be a champagne toast at the end of the day so just an opportunity to really celebrate this wellness place in our community that's keeping us all on our toes yeah <laughs> keeping you healthy and stretched yes <laughs> limber yes. for the holidays exactly yeah you got a lot of um uh, christmas gift lifting to do and bending over wrapping so you're really just preparing your Mind, body, and spirit. For, yes. For, for Christmas. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Well, that is everything I was able to find. I'm sure there's more happening out there, but I want to thank everybody for listening in. And if there, if you know of an event that's happening, let us know. Yes. We'll talk about it. Yeah, of course. Any <laughs> yeah. questions, any events you know of that we didn't touch on, anything you'd like to share, you can send that to media at tachbcityhall.com. And we hope to hear from you and we hope you listen again next week. Claire, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. All right. Bye.